is 10.30, it is Tuesday morning and I am in mine with the decker on and we are going up to Preston. I haven't been there in years. I can't even remember the last time I went. It must have been three years ago. Um, but yeah, I think I've got about 36. I'm literally just going down the road to pick them up. Um, and then, yeah, heading all the way up to Preston. Um, it should take me about three to three and a half hours, but apparently traffic's really, really bad at the moment. <laughs> so, um, Dad's, Dad took two hours to an hour's journey. So that's how bad the traffic is at the moment. And he's still queuing. Um, so I'm hoping, that's not gonna happen with me. If it's queuing through Birmingham, we're just gonna fly up the toll road. That's what we're gonna do. Um, but yes, it is cold, it's four degrees, but it's raining. It's not meant to rain today, but it is raining, look. Which means that it's easy to wash out, but I bet you by the time I wash out, it's not gonna be raining and on when I'm going up, it's still not gonna be raining. But anyway, let's go. Let go. Right, so I'm just getting to my place. It's like a roller coaster when I come down here. And then like, you don't, you, you really don't want to come back up it when it's icy. Really don't. Oh, they're really handy to be there, yep. Oh dear. So this is my little roller coaster down here. Ready? I'm on the gate post. Ready? Wee! Wee! Hands up in the air! <laughs> Down we go. Is he ready? He's round here somewhere. Car's here. Ooh, steady. Alright, so I'll back up there. He's still sorting them out. Give him his due, he's got 10 minutes. Right, I'm gonna try and turn this round. It'll be a bit tight with that bucket there. Uh, <laughs> it's like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where do I back the trailer? Right, stop that then. Right, I've got to get as close as I can to this mucky because the bucket's in the way. I could now spin. If I hear a bang, we know it's gone wrong. I'm just going to check. <laughs> so good. We've got miles. Just wanted to double check as well when I spin it back out that it's not going to hit that. But yeah, we're all good for now. <laughs> right, so what I have to deal with here is I'm facing right uphill and it's a concrete road and it's grass either side. I can't get off the concrete road. So yeah, let's get this. I can't put it on my head. You'll have to look on there. <laughs>
tight or else I'm not going to get any grip. Let's try and get away. That up. That on. That on. That on. In second. Come on, Laurie. Look at that. Go on, girl. She's a good girl. It's like, on a, it's like going up a roller coaster and then on the top we're gonna go woo, but no, no. There we go. I'm not shifting up a gear. That off. That off. That off. <laughs> All right, let's fill out the paperwork now. So, um, I've got two pieces of paper because not all of them fit on one sheet. So, I'm in bull, I'm in trailer two, 105, my ABM number. What's the date today? The 5th. Oh, I didn't open my advent calendar. Oh, 23. I'll put 11.30. Uh, there. Oh, signature there. Right, and the other one. BU11 SMT SMT TR2. 105. 5th of the 12th, 23, 11.30, turn it over, and sign my life away.
Scotland because last time like you finish the M6 and you head on to the next motorway like I do the M6 start to finish that's a long time but we're only going to junction 31 Woo! Right, so I've decided to go up the toll road and um, the M6 toll just because they were queuing around Birmingham I didn't really want to stop and start all the time so it's just quicker and easier and it's nicer for the cattle to just keep going straight without stopping and starting um, and just go straight up the toll yes it's going to cost me like 15 quid but it's just nicer for the for the livestock and for my feet so I don't have to keep going up and down the gears that's the downside of sitting in traffic with a manual. You have to keep going up and down the gears. That's when you want an auto. But yeah, we're um, still a fair, well I've been driving an hour, just under an hour. So yeah, still got a fair way to go yet. Oh, we're going, she's dying on me. <laughs> toll birds, toll birds. Um, most lorries have like a, a tag in the windscreen so they can um, go round um, like that lorry's doing right there they go round um, let's go for this lane bigger lane any lane um, yeah so they can go round or you can be like Becky and um, just do this they used to take cash here obviously don't anymore since covid oh 15 pound 90. use this motor card in the card reader slot below really Seat. Don't fly away. Thank you. You don't even have to put him in. Go. Ah, oh, so fifteen pound ninety it costs to take an Arctic through the toll. Go on, old girl. Laurie will stay behind me. Ha, I beat him. But the reason why I got a receipt is because I can claim back um, from the business's expenses. Because I've, I've literally just paid it off my own card. Um, obviously, I don't want to pay for a toll, so um, I claim it back um, every three every three months. I do my expenses uh, with St Mary's, um, so that includes all the washes that I pay for. Um, obviously, um, tolls, um, if I have a night out, pay for food, um, if I have a night out and I stop in services and um, you make, you're not going to get past me. Um, and like I park up for the night in the services and I have to pay for parking, that goes through the business, so I claim that back on expenses. Um, so yeah, anything that I pay for the business, I claim that back in expenses. So yeah. But um, yeah, that's done. Let's keep going. I've managed to get off at uh, the M6 and I'm now on the A59, heading towards like Clitheroe that way. Um, again, I haven't been here in years. So I know it's just off the A, it's on the side of the A59, I know that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a big entrance. Surely I won't be able to miss it. I also need a wee. Look, livestock friend! Livestock friend. Hello. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, oh, they also have weighers on the M6 just before Preston. Um, and so we know we're not overweight because Vosa didn't pull me. We, people would be like on the comments, it's not Vosa anymore, it's like the DVSA. Yes, I know that, but everybody still calls them Vosa. Okay, they're still called Vosa. Oh, hello, mate. Um, I can't really remember all this, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. If we get to York, we've gone too far. Or no, if we get to Skipton, we've gone too far. <laughs> I remember these set of traffic lights. Is that someone's house? That's way too close for... Oh, I wonder... Oh, couldn't live that close to the road. No, but I do remember these set of traffic lights. I'm not too far away, probably about 20 minutes. But this car in front of me is only doing 30. That's all he is doing today. And you should see the size of the queue that's behind us. Um, I would put that GoPro on, but it's that sunny behind. No chance you'd be even able to see. Like I can't even see it in my mirrors, it's that bright. But look at him, he's zoomed off now. Hmm. But um, yeah, N come on, we're nearly there. Look, we're getting into hilly country. Hills. Now, if I was going all the way to Skipton, I'd go across the moor. But I am not going to Skipton. Um, I've only been Skipton once for that sheep sales. Um, that was on a previous video. If you scroll back on my videos, you'll see Skipton. Um, but yeah. No hills today, little brum, or well, big brum, no hills. I am getting to the stage where I really, really, really need a wee. It's going to be dark on my way home. It's going to be dark washing out. That's going to be really helpful because not all the lights work in the decker. Oh, look, this is quite a snazzy little off loft. Look, robot will be... Oh, he's got a police car on the front. Back. Front? Why has he got a police car on the front? Robot. Robot. Liam will be happy that... I uh, quite like the look of that little Volvo. He's Volvo man. Oh, we're nearly there yet. I'm fed up for roundabouts now. Ah, see, big lay-by. I knew we're nearly here, and then it's just down a little bit on the right. I'm starting to jig, because we need a wee. This is the big lay-by. We're at the top of the hill. Well done, Daphne. Fair play, she held it at one speed. <sighs> this has all changed since I last come. So I'm a bit confused, like I don't know where to go. It says livestock reception. Oh. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Hello. Do you want them? Are you washing up? Huh? Yes, please. What's this? <gasps>
No, does it? So, does he wash it out? Do I flick? Do I, I don't need to do the rest. Cool. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Thank you. I've been here many, many years ago. I know you unload there and the wash is around the corner. <laughs> it's been a lot, these have changed. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. A high vis while they'll wash out. What sort of, but you didn't have to do that last time. Oh, someone's ringing me. Oh, that was terrible.
did. They came off really well actually, that's a first. <laughs> they pooped like crazy. It's gonna take ages to wash out this is because it's been like sunny all the way up here. what the wash is like now. Crackers are crack. Look. Oh, you can't see. They're all in pieces. Quite depressing. I'm just going to eat the cheese and the ham. And then I can nip, pick at the crackers as I'm driving along. I wish to do that. Mm. Oh, that's good. I would like someone to, to, to let me out. Please? With a cherry on top? <laughs> I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain Sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I but I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
Kells X lorry. It's, it was PN21. I wonder if that's Poppy. No, Polly. Polly. I don't know. Anyway, got places to be. So um, I've actually made a friend. He goes just a tiny little bit slower than me. Uh, but yeah, it's my new friend in my mirror. <laughs> He's driving a Scania V8 um, Lorry and Drag. So hello, hello whoever you are. You took a video of me anyway. So, um, I thought we weren't friends because I overtook you and I'm in a DAF and not a Scania. But you'll overtake me again when we go down the hill. <laughs> Here's my friend. There's my friend. But I know these cameras work. There he is. These cameras work. Hang on, I've got music playing in my ear. There we go. So I have just filled up with fuel and I'm about to park up. There's Ickle Brun, there's Tiny. Dad's lorry's around the front. Oh, and then there's, oh yeah, horse boxes at home. Um, but yeah, I came back, look, there you go. Three hours, 28 minutes. That's not bad. Um, bound from, yeah, that's quite good actually. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>